What's up YouTube, this is Joe from Zephyr Wargames and I am bringing to you guys another update to my Cyburst deck but this is the Nightmare Extra Link um, build um, and it's a build that I'm actually enjoying at the moment and will probably stick to until again the new stru um, structure that comes out um, Shooting Code Talker um, that gives us all the other stuff that can literally help us Extra Link even easier um, without use of the nightmares um, but at the moment we have the nightmares at our disposal and we can actually do a lot of nice little small extra links in this deck um, that can uh, literally just boost the deck's potential um, so with all that said and done guys let's get right into it so I've watched a few profiles on this build on this type of build and I've literally implemented my own ideas and ratios into it um so this is what i've got and that's been doing very very well for me so three lady debugs since you have stratus of the deck you've got to have this card at three um then you have your balance sword lord you got to again have this card at three as well it just literally gives you that additional normal summon that you need and being level four and it's banishing a fit that we utilize a lot in this deck um then we have the three cyber gadgets literally this is part of, um this card's um, used in most of your combos just to get you that extra monster back from the graveyard and a token when it's linked off. Uh, Prompt Horn has been bumped up to free because he helps you start off tons like pretty much all of your combos um, resolve around Prompt Horn um, additional summons like four summons in the deck and it's just absolutely like crazy um, and then we have more ways as well to give us another monster to sack off for Prompt Horn um, next we have two rigid kids, um, it's just our additional summon as well, um, there's a replay at two, that's searchable off um, Lady Debug, um, and I'm also still playing two backup secretaries, I like to see this card in my hand just because that additional summon is very helpful. Um, we're playing some one ofs of one dot scaper, um, just always good, always good, always a must of in the deck, and I'm taking out one sim templer. Um, just because it's an additional summon, an easy, an additional easy special summon to a zone elite monster points to, but it could also help recur some of your level fours from the graveyard so that you can use even on that turn or next turn, depending on your current situation. Um, and it's been doing very well at the moment. I am playing for the normal monsters now. One Leotron, new addition to the deck, um, su summonable off one of the spell cards in the deck to help you get a high level monster to sack off for your prompt horn. Um, one Bitron and three Protrons, the ratio like this is still usable, still very good, still very consistent, so I'm keeping it. Uh, because we're playing the uh, Nightmares 1, Nightmare Ibli, but funny thing is without Ibli, it is a Cybers type, so you could actually still attack this in your um, stand, um, pure, somewhat, your other Cybers builds without having the Nightmares in your extra deck, just because it is a Cybers type monster. And because of it, moving on, and somewhat moving on to finish up the monsters and moving on to the spell cards as well. We are playing the Cybers Magician and Cynet Ritual Package. Um, the reason for this is that you can search this off your um, Cybers Witch from your extra deck during your combos, giving you two free discard outlets for your nightmares um, while you're while doing your combos. It's a very nice, consistent engine in the deck. Sometimes you may brick with it. Um, by having opening with one of these cards in your opening hands you can't resolve which but it happens with every deck every deck has a brick unfortunately and um, this is just the one that um, is in this deck but uh, I rarely ever get the brick and that's just my luck but that's just Yu-Gi-Oh as well isn't it um, but it's a very nice engine very helpful for your um, uh, nightmare combos and there are times where you actually don't need to discard these cards for your nightmare abilities and then you can just literally ritual summon during the duel and which does happen as well and that is actually very helpful. Um, so continuing with the spells, obvious free sign up backdoors, you're going to have this card, it's your rotor. Three unexpected dies, now most combo, uh, most builds I see of this um, build only use two of it, I don't understand that because it's part of your one of your combos um, in the deck. You open with this and a prompt one, and I think uh, an Osiris gadget, you can get a very, very strong board out of that. And so, uh, playing only two of it limits that chance of you opening with that hand. So, I'm maxed out on this card, and it's been doing very well for me. Two gold sarcophagus, banish this with your uh, 
bash your balance all I'll just get the free summon and a, um, an additional card in two turns. So what more could you ask? I'm playing some one of one, one for one, one foolish burial for your dot scaper and some other cards in the deck as well for combos. Um, especially with Cybers, which you can dump anything that you don't have in your opening hand. With this, then make the witch, resolve the witch and summon the one that you dumped off foolish burial. So it's very good. Uh, two one-time par codes. Yep, that's this in the deck now. We don't play scapegoat because scapegoat um just doesn't work with this deck very well. Um, you can try it out if you want to, but in my testing, it just didn't work. Um, but the one-time cast one-time pass code does. Um, it's a spell that you can activate on your turn to give you a monster to activate your witch and uh, have a spell in the graveyard to banish off her as well. Um, and being a level 4 token as well means that you can resolve Pumped Horn for a free summon. And then to round up the main deck we are playing the three revival spells of one legacy successor, one soul charge and one monster reborn. Uh, moving on to the extra deck where a lot of the stuff has changed in there as well. Um, so you can play Gumbler in there, but in here, but I'm still only playing the one link for Firewall Dragon. Um, this is the only one link that you really need. Um, but you can again tech in a Gumbler or Bolload or Bomber, any of those other things as well. Um, but for my options, I'm still playing the Transcode X Code combo. Um, just because it's a nice strong combo that you can still um, do very very easily in this deck um, in as like my um, previous build um, but uh, it's still a nice combo that I like. I would still highly recommend using Transcode anyway um, but Xcode is the one that I like to use as well just for the extra protection. Um, I'm playing one Trigate Wizard as well to round up the Link 3's in the deck. Uh, other Link 3 options that you can play is Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, for Link 2 is Cyber Switch, the one that actually starts off all of your combos and is your consistency in terms of your magicians for your discard outlets. Uh, Cyber Switch is a very, very good card for that. For the Nightmares, the obvious Goblin, Phoenix and Cerberus. Uh, one Honeybot for the easy Link 2 of two Cybers, but the Battle Protection as well. Uh, one Flame Administer. Um, to round up the Link 2's, Flame Admins is good for the um, Power Boost as well. And we're actually playing 5 Link 1's in Link Disciple, Link Devotee, uh, Link Spider, Nightmare Mermaid and Link Grebo. Um, these are all very important in the deck. These Link 1's just help you do most on um, all of your combos. They're, such, they're so important. It's crazy how many Link 1's this deck's playing at the moment. Um, but they're all very important and just do lots and lots of your combos. These two help make your extra link um, as well, which um, I will say now there will be a combo tutorial for this deck um, showing off all the different combos that you can do. Um, I will be recording that at another time. Um, it's very busy at the moment, but stay tuned to the channel again for those combos. I'm excited to share them to you guys. So as always guys, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, I just want to quickly mention as well, um, thanks to this, there's now two pro, um, two variants of um, Cybers that you can play. My previous build, which is a standard, pure, straightforward deck that just literally plays all the consistency cards that you need just to make nice, strong, consistent boards. This one is your crazy combo Havoc um, Extra Link Nightmare build. So thanks to this, they now have two builds on this channel for you to try out and um, see which build fits you the most and again as always guys like comment subscribe until next time as always happy dawning also youtube thanks for watching that video i hope you liked it if you did hit that like button and of course don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button in the bottom left hand corner and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything we've got more deck profiles duels pack openings and many more Yu-Gi-Oh videos coming up for you all year round so don't forget to stay tuned for all of that Thanks, and as always, guys, happy dueling.